Hey everyone. Today I want to share a story with you. So the story is about father and son. One day Harry came to his dad and said, "Dad, I'm going to take a zero from your wallet." Dad laughs and says, "Go and take it. As many zeros you want." Harry said, "One is more than enough." and he took away the 900 bucks from 1000 his dad was surprised you said you were taking only one zero but now i am left with only 100 where did my 900 bucks go harry said what happened i just took a zero from your 1000 bucks that's why you are left with 100 and so those 900 bucks are now mine His dad thought that Harry has really grown up. Next day he called Harry and said, "I have a good news for you. I have added a zero to your pocket money. And now you don't have to take money from my wallet." Harry checked and said, "Dad, the amount is still same." After that, his dad just changed the place of that zero. So 100 bucks became 1000 and Harry was happy. from this story you must have now understood that even if a zero means nothing or has no value but still it can have huge impact when placed at an appropriate place so for a zero place matters the most that is when a zero is to the left of any non zero number it has no effect and in fact need not be mentioned while writing but when the same zero appears to the right of non zero number it increases its value but you know what this left side zero may affect the number when we deal with decimals if we add zero to the left side of this zero the number will remain unchanged and same happens when we add zero to the right of 1 but let me tell you there is one place where zero would affect the number that is between decimal point and 1 If we increase one zero, the value is ten times smaller. And if we keep on increasing the number of zeros after decimal point and before one, it makes the value of the given number even smaller. So till now we saw the impact of zero when decimal was after zero. Now what if the decimal is after the number one? Will it change the number? No, it won't. You add as many zeros you want by putting a decimal point after one. The number will still remain same. So let's see some more effects that a zero can have on a number. Suppose you have two chocolates in left pocket and zero chocolate in the right pocket. So exactly how many chocolates do you have? The answer is two only, isn't it? because you would not be adding anything at all on the same lines say if you give zero chocolate to your brother out of your two chocolates then you would be still left with two right so i just want to tell you that zero added or subtracted to a number doesn't change the number and this is true for zero too i hope you are with me Let's now assume you are a doctor and you calculate total money earned at the end of the day. Suppose you charge 100 bucks per patient. So, to calculate per day earning, you would multiply the amount with number of patients you examined, right? If you had 5 patients, then to know the total earning, you would multiply 5 and 100 or you would add 100 5 times. But what about during a holiday? Your charges still remain hundred, but since there were no patients, so the total money earned for that day would be zero multiplied by hundred, that is zero. This also means that you add hundred zero times, that is you don't need to add actually, or you add zero hundred times, which will again result in zero itself. and therefore we say that when zero is multiplied by a number it reduces its value to zero now a small task for you 
Try multiplying all the digits of your mobile dial pad. Check and tell us your answers by posting your comments. Now just think, what if we multiply 0 with 0 itself? Well, here you simply have 0, 0 times, means nothing 0 times. Ok, let's try to prove it. We have to prove that 0 into 0 is 0. So let's take the left hand side that is 0 into 0 and we can write 0 as 1 minus 1, right? Now let's solve it. So 2 minus 2 will become 0 and therefore 0 into 0 is 0 and we can again write this as 0 is equal to 0 square. So one more thing we can conclude that square root of 0 is again 0. Ten upon one is simply ten, agreed? And ten upon zero point one is hundred. And then I think you are understanding where we are going with this. Smaller the denominator, larger will be the result. Now, when the denominator is so small that it is going more towards zero, the result we get is such a big number that we call it as infinity. But what is the value of infinity? As we know, infinity means very large value. So can I say 10 crore is infinity or 1 billion is infinity? No, there will always be a number bigger than that. So basically, infinity has no defined value. Therefore, whenever we divide a number by 0, we say that the answer is always infinity or an undefined value. Now I am thinking what if we divide 0 by itself? The result will again be undefined or it will be 1 because we know that if we have same numbers in both numerator and denominator then answer is always 1. So let's understand this with an example. For the first case just assume that you distribute 0 apples equally amongst your 0 friends. So how many each one will have? Do you see that this question makes no sense? Now if 0 upon 0 is 1, then that would mean that each of your non-existent friend got 1 apple. How could that be possible? Because there is no apple. So again, 0 upon 0 has no definite value and hence we say its value is undefined. So is it clear? I have a question with which you may be familiar. You have to only spot the mistake, okay? So did you find the mistake? In the fifth line, we are left with a plus b is equal to b. This means to remove a minus b, we have divided both sides by a minus b, right? But we know that a is equal to b. This means a minus b should be 0. And as we just saw that, division by 0 is not defined. Friends, do you remember? We saw above that 0 square is 0, which is true for any power of 0. So keeping this knowledge in mind, Let's see one more fact about 0, that is, any number to the power 0 is always equal to 1. Let us justify this with an example. Take any random number, I'll take 2, so 2 raised to 0 should be 1, right? And I can write 2 raised to 0 as 2 raised to 1 minus 1 because 1 minus 1 is 0. So this will be equal to 2 raised to 1 multiplied by 2 raised to minus 1. And we know that 2 raised to minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 2 and therefore we have got 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So just now we saw two things. So with these two facts what I am thinking is if 0 raised to a number is 0 then 0 raised to 0 should also be 0. But a number raised to 0 is 1. So 0 to the power 0 should be 1. 
well both can't be true at the same time the zero to the power zero is not yet defined let's see why we can again write zero raised to zero as zero raised to one minus one and so this clearly shows that zero raised to zero is undefined so friends some of the values might be defined some might not but one thing is definitely true that zero is a hero when it is at its correct place and lastly i want to share with you a beautiful message 